I sense that the climate change issue is finally becoming a mainstream issue. And it's important that climatologists uh, put out factual information. And I've had some tweets that have gotten quite a bit of attention. One uh, says, even if a small fraction of Arctic seafloor methane is released to the atmosphere, we are effed. And that uh, would be triggered by ocean warming. So that's a conditional statement. Uh, if uh, there's sufficient warming, if that stuff comes out, we're in trouble. Uh, that message has been interpreted as we're effed uh, when it's really just conditional. Uh, we still have a chance uh, if we strongly reduce carbon emissions and somehow get down to, say, 350 parts per million carbon in the atmosphere. Uh, that's one point. Another point is uh, misquoting uh, that I've been misquoted that I somehow anticipate 80 feet of sea level rise by the end of the century. Did not say that. I said last time atmospheric CO2 was this high, 400 parts per million. Global sea level was 70 feet higher. How long it takes us to get there, that's not happening in the next 85 years. But by the year 2100, if we don't have our act together, we would essentially be locking ourselves into that dramatic, uh, catastrophic fate. And so, again, we, we have a chance here to react. And uh, um, if, as Winston Churchill put it, you know, people, the Americans he put it, are, are good at reacting after they've exhausted all other opportunities, uh, maybe we're at that point and it's time that we react because we finally, as, as a mainstream issue, we get it, that everyone's uh, livelihoods are on the line here. And uh, so I hope that helps uh, kind of qualify my positions in this very important uh, issue.